Well, you're saying to yourself, this doesn't look like the usual uh, Rick China neighborhood, and that's because it's not. I'm in St. John's, Newfoundland. And I'm just going to take a brief walk uh, up Water Street, maybe onto George Street, and then down to the uh, harbor front, which is right over there. So we're in the Alt Hotel. You can see the harbor is right there. But we'll go down Water Street here. Oh, well, might as well cross the street while we can. Specifically Prescott Street we're crossing now. That's looking down Water Street. This great big Coast Guard ship just uh, right at the by our hotel here. The Terry Fox. We'll go by closer when we come back down on the harbor front there. They have very long lights. There we go. So you may be wondering, why am I in St. John's? Uh, it was just for a special event. Um, there's the Terry Fox down there. That about was uh, kind of a fundraiser called the Great Kitchen Party. And uh, it was host hosted by Alan Doyle. So we've been hanging out with him, doing a few things, a lot of hiking, climb Signal Hill, hiked over by Cape Spear, the easternmost point in uh, North America. And I spent a lot of time walking up and down Water Street. <laughs> Yesterday we did a bus trip out to uh, hidden gems of Newfoundland. So we were in oh, uh, Holyrood and Biggis and Dildo. Pretty quiet here now. And of course there was music. Um, I got to sing The Last Saskatchewan Pirate with Alan Doyle there and sang it in a place called the Yellow Belly that we'll walk by. And then he sang a song, so I can now say that I opened for Alan Doyle at the Yellow Belly in St. John's. <laughs> and I probably will. This is being recorded, so I'm home now, actually, when this will go up on uh, the YouTube channel. The old buildings, 1893, that one says. Lots of shops along here. Lots of touristy stuff. Lots of pubs. So St. John's is a very old city, one of the oldest in North America. Here's the Supreme Court building of Newfoundland. All the way up. There we go. Apparently, they park right there. Supreme Court of Newfoundland and Labrador. I'm going to go up here. I'll walk up to George Street, which is the famous pub street. And then it'll be... Uh, Then we'll be back along Harbor Front.
We've eaten in some nice restaurants, been in a few pubs, hiked in a howling wind and downpour <laughs> over by Cape Spear. I'd actually thought I might take the gimbal over there and watch, uh, record that, but it's a good thing I didn't. I needed both hands and a, and a hiking uh, stick to, for that day. It was uh, quite a challenging hike, especially for someone from the flatland like me. Oh, here comes the guy on the bicycle. Atlantic Place. Sort of going down to where the road bends is where we will go up to George Street, which is only two blocks long. Then I'll come down again at the end of that and go to Harbor Front and back to the hotel. So this will probably only be about a half hour walk, maybe less. I was pleased to be able to walk up Signal Hill and other hikes and be one of the fastest and not struggle with the, the walking. So I suspect all the walking I've done on this has probably helped quite a bit. Always the harbor is down to the left. Most of these little side streets a lot of them are called coves, and it's been explained to us that at one time ships sort of sailed right into those coves, and sort of, uh, which are now streets for unloading and all that kind of thing. 400 years ago, 300 years ago, 200 years ago. Grace Building, it's an older building there. The gray building there is called Merchant Tavern, and we had our dinner there last night. And then we crossed over here to Yellow Belly, which is a brew pub, and has a great performance space upstairs. And that's where we, uh, that's where uh, we had our concert with uh, Alan Doyle and Kelly Clarkson. Who's the other guy's name? I can't remember his name, which is terrible. He's a Juno award-winning author, but uh, we'll take our chances. But here's the yellow belly. So this is something you don't see in Saskatchewan. So here we are in George Street. almost solid pubs. Kind of a very famous uh, party street in Canada. A lot of live music here. You can see there's always these little side streets taking you down to, and you can go up as well. To Duckworth, I think, is the next street up there. Likely. Just one little place after another here. We were in O'Reilly's. No, it's okay. Yeah, that's O'Reilly's. We were in there one night too, although we came in from the other end down there. Most of the sidewalks. Oh, hello, pigeons. Almost stepped on that one. Most of the sidewalks are blocked by the, the outdoor decks of these places. But this is much more a pedestrian street when the partying is going on. Anyway. 
plan is to go all the way down to the end down there. It's not technically a crosswalk here. It doesn't look like. But it also doesn't look like a very busy piece of street, so I think we'll be all right. There's also modern buildings in St. John's, of course. So this is my second time in Newfoundland. We were here a couple of years ago. Really enjoyed it then and really enjoyed it now as well. Okay, at this next street up here, we'll want to go left, I think. And go back down to the harbor front, cross over Water Street again. And we'll go down and walk along the harbor front. I've never actually walked this far <laughs> down this way and the two times we've been here you t tend to stop at a pub or something before you get this far down depending on where your hotel is and ours has always been well the first time we were here it's way down at the end of the street the former site of fort william here's the corner store building erected in 1861 originally as the fisheries hall it says and it was a church and a Catholic school and a bunch of other things. And now it looks like it's got a pub in it. Among other things, I see a triple X there. So <laughs> all right, we'll go down to the harbor, get some ships. Here we are at the traditional Boston pizza. <laughs> so again, it's Water Street to the left, down that way. We'll go around the corner of the Boston pizza, down to Harbor Front, and then walk back along the harbor. Won't take long. It only took me 13 minutes to get here. Won't take any longer to get back. I think St. John's is about 150,000 people, so it's smaller than Regina. Maybe the greater St. John's area has more people than the greater Regina area. But I think the town itself is, uh, we were told, 150,000. I don't know what that is, actually. I don't see a sign. All right, round the corner of the Boston Pizza on the Harbor Drive. Might be I should cross here to get to the other side. Oof. Ah, it's the St. John's Convention Center, that modern building, because there's the other side of it with the sign. That makes sense. Ocean X Terminal 1. So it's a working port. Uh, we've seen lots of ships come and go. When we first got here, there was a submarine, a Canadian submarine, HMCS Windsor, in port. which was cool. I'd never seen a Canadian submarine. Actually, I don't know if I've ever seen a submarine that wasn't in a museum. And there's been a number of offshore service uh, vessels out of Coast Guard ships, a few fishing trawlers, 
I always find it cool to look up what the ships are. There's whole apps that let you track ships. You can put in the ship you want to track and it'll tell you where it is. With GPS and everything, they always know where everything is. Doesn't mean they're not having a terrible time at sea, but you know where they are at least. That's a big change for once upon a time. So here's St. John Harbor. Speaking of containers and the cranes for putting said container containers on ships. This is the Atlantic Ocean here. Probably knew that. You can't see it because of the fog, but the hill over there is uh, Signal Hill with Cabot Tower on top of it. Called the Narrows. And that vessel's moving. Is that another Coast Guard ship? I think it is. Oh no, it's an Ocean X, so it's a, it's a container ship. It's a police, a police vessel, I might say. <laughs> so they're maneuvering. I don't know if they're uh, maneuvering to be loaded, I would guess. Probably going to head over here somewhere. I believe this is a fishing vessel. I haven't really looked, but that would be my guess. From the way she's rigged. This Jacqueline 4. Oh, we have Capo de Espera. That is an iceberg. Uh, so it's a, it's a tourist boat, that one. St. John's award-winning boat tour. Here we go. I won't go down there because things move around and if we get a little further down, there's a walk along the harbor. Moving very slowly, maneuvering herself. Looks like the stern is likely gonna swing around. And then I would guess, unless she's already been loaded, that she'll be backing up over here to be loaded, is my guess. Pier 7. Something brand new going up there. Don't know what it is. Why would I? I don't actually live here. That's an old building there, I believe. The Murray House. Murray premises. This is the keg. <laughs> Not an old business, nor an old building. It has a good view of the harbor on the other side. The Murray premises, we're told is one of the oldest buildings in St. John's. At least the part of it that's old is old. Almost got ourselves a first front row look at an accident there. That car came out right in front of that truck. What that honk was about. Jack Astor's, another chain sort of place. And here's the harbor front walk. Atlantic Storm, I would guess, is also a fishing vessel, looks like. There we go, looking out at the harbor. And the Narrows, which is called because that because it's narrow. And here's, here's the container vessel still maneuvering here. Very slowly swinging her stern around, either to sail out or to 
back in and get loaded. Maybe it's not a container vessel. I don't know what it is exactly. I'll have to look it up. Her, I should say. What's her name? Ocean X Avalon. Okay. I'll look her up later. Or you can look her up right now. Ocean X Avalon. So out that way, the Narrows is the narrowest part of the harbor. Not very wide at all. They had a submarine net across it in the Second World War because uh, they didn't want subs in the harbor, obviously. Apparently a couple of German subs did fire, or one German sub fired two torpedoes into St. John's Harbor, but it didn't hit anything. And there were military uh, emplacements, cannons and stuff. Keeping watch over the harbor mouth. At the time, Newfoundland wasn't part of Canada. It was its own dominion, part of the British Empire, but not part of Canada. So it was its own country then. We watched a uh, big service ship berth the other night and it was quite amazing that amount of that mass and that that size of thing and he maneuvered it easier than I park my car parallel park a couple of other Coast Guard vessels over there there's a Coast Guard that red building over there is a Coast Guard building Irving oil up the hill there I wore my jacket and I'm actually too warm. There's supposed to be rain coming. And here you mostly get fence. But always the harbor is over there. It's very modern buildings here, office building, parking garage of all things. Seems like a waste of a view, but they didn't ask me. Most of your view here is a bit spoiled by that fence, but... And this is kind of a historic thing. So all along there are these uh, displays talking about the old buildings that used to be here or still are. Um, we've seen several of those. Ooh, that's probably hard to watch. I'll put it up next to the fence to uh, peek through the bars when there's something more to see here where there's another ship and a traffic cop apparently one thing we've noticed you see the seagull sitting here on the where can I get him there he is on the bollard um, they're a lot bigger in the seagulls the gulls we have in Regina because we have gulls but they're about half the size of these and they don't look nearly as mean. Oh, here's a good shot of him. There we go. I think they'd eat our, our gulls for lunch if the two species ever actually ran into each other. So here we are now, we're down at the foot of the street leading up to the Supreme Court that I walked by earlier.
ship coming, smaller vessel coming in there. You can see her. I don't know, that may have just focused on, I think that just focused on the uh, fence. <laughs> so all you got was a bl uh, blurry picture there. The best place to do it is when you're directly opposite, so you can look right through the bars instead of trying to do it at an angle. And then you can get a better view of the vessel coming in. Almost. Still not quite. Let's try it from about here. There we go. fishing vessel, I would say, for sure. <clears throat> With my vast knowledge of vessels. They do say prairie people make good sailors, but it doesn't mean we recognize what ships we're looking at right away. There'd be a learning curve. I know a little bit. I know bow and stern and port and starboard and all that stuff. some sailing terms mainly from reading Swallows and Amazons which is a, is a children's book series by an author named uh, Arthur Ransom um, about kids messing around on boats this is quite a large Coast Guard vessel Terry Fox it's the largest one that's been along here of that sort That's our hotel right there, so I'm almost done this walk. There you see, Fisheries and Oceans Canada, Terry Fox. Loading supplies, I would guess. It's very large. Hard to get any sort of image of her though because of the, because of the uh, there she is she goes way up there Coast Guard I'd get a better picture of her when I get up to where the ship, where the, our uh, deck on the hotel is up here, which is where I'm headed. Then I'll be above the fence, so then we'll look back at her. Here's her bow. Again, Terry Fox on the bow. Okay. Down there, that's another service, offshore service vessel. There's a staircase here that'll take us up onto the deck of the hotel, right here. <clears throat> and we should get a better look things. Sorry, Signal Hill's still foggy up there. So those are offshore service vehicles, like for oil rigs, basically. And look at the harbor, looking out the narrows to the ocean. And you come on around, we'll get a good look here at the Terry Fox. There she is. 
Good morning. And I think that's that. <laughs> so, thanks for walking with me. I'll be walking in Regina. By the time you see this, I'll be back walking in Regina. But that was a little bit of St. John's, Newfoundland.